This is the new moon message and we're activating gate eight at 28 degrees cancer of a Taurus moon, which is going to meet the sun in Taurus again at 28 degrees. So again, this is gate eight. It actually is going to sit in the throat chakra and it will actually be representing your, at a physiological level, your Adam's apple. So we'll get into that. Now, separate from that, we're gonna have gate um, 14, which is a Scorpionic gate, who is the programming partner of this new moon. And it really matters, and we're gonna break into how does compromise really matter at the low level frequency? When and how do we compromise? Which is not what Taurus wants to do. Taurus is really not good at compromise. But at the shadow frequency of Taurus, we're looking at mediocrity. So before I get any further, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, hit the likes button. This is going to be a doozy. I will break down these transits for you. This is your Astro Shaman Pranel Bobby. We are generating an economy of harmony, ladies and gentlemen. Levering human is a deep. I'm gonna let that slide. Leveraging human design and genetic astrology. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the genes. Let's talk about what's happening. Um, first, the first couple notable things that I really wanna mention, and I have my little um, sheet on the side here, uh, pulled up the transits, is that the moon is going to sextile, the moon in Taurus is going to sextile Mars and Cancer. All right, this one matters. This is big, it's very close. Um, there are actually a lot of like one degree aspects going on. Um, one of the major ones, though, is going to be the um, Pluto, which is an Aquarius, which is going to square the nose. So this matters on this new moon because we're talking money. And so Pluto and Aquarius is talking about digitizing money. And you're going to find some type of restraints. The latest one that I heard of is like you can't spend more than a thousand dollars in Europe. And it's like in cash. And this is us already starting to, and I'm like, I'm thinking about it myself. I'm like, man, I remember buying a car for $4,000 in cash one year. And it's like, that stuff's not going to fly anymore because they can't track these purchases. And it makes sense. That purchase was not tracked. So uh, when you talk about the nose, talking about our future, our collective, as well as um, where does greed, that's a big mosquito. Okay, he went inside the crib. Where does things like greed, well, as for the direction people are going, the greed for physical assets like money, how is that going to essentially dissipate somehow? It's it, how are we going to take a deeper look at where is money going? This is kind of moon, new moon that from six months from now forward, it will start to make a lot of sense. Um, Mercury and Saturn, this is a good one. So our minds are actually going to be able to. Um, let me let me see if I can. Let me see if this works. You see that little that little light helps a little bit. Um, our mind is going to be able to get along and get on board in a very easy way, very smooth way with the structures that be, which are kind of holding back our individuality as well as our latent yet very natural talents. Taurus is really about natural talents, and this is one of the things that are going to most appropriately and authentically get us to align with. How can our own creative body make us money as the currencies change, as we officially and essentially very soon no longer even operate in physical currencies, right? So we're, we're heading towards this direction, but our mind, Mercury, is going to be able to work with what does it take at a realistic level to dismantle, <laughs> to dismantle um, and actually let this stuff go, let go of this 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 desire this sense of need for money because saturn and pisces is really where things come to an end so certain structures are coming to an end as for when we get deep into our psyche we start realizing how silly it is to prioritize paper so again this is the kind of stuff because it happened at 28 degrees on the new moon this is a lot of this is going to be private a lot of this is not going to be stuff you're going to see publicly but collectively we are shifting in this direction and we will be faced with you know how and when did greed take especially while we were children in grade school of our parents were in survival modes while they were raising us and prioritizing money or making a living and doing something inauthentically where there's a difference between taking steps if I give an example, I took on bartending jobs while I was creating my business, which is autonomous, if you will, full-time now, 
years and years and years later. I took on a bar job, but I put a a stamp on it. I said, look, when I hit $8,000, I set a tangible goal. When I hit $8,000 with this job, I'm leaving. And it's about, do you use these things as a stepping stone towards something that actually is more a, a gem to you, something that is naturally exquisite, that makes you naturally stand out? Or do you take that job, right, with no means to an end? And this is kind of one of the things that's going to, to, to be requested upon us, all right? As these mosquitoes tear my ass up, these are going to be the things that's going to be requested upon us because the shadow of this gate eight, this gene key eight, which actually represents, again, like I said, the Adam's apple, okay? It's in the throat chakra. If you find yourself taking a gulp, if you find yourself um, getting dry at the throat and <clears throat> you feel a little chaspy when you're trying to talk about something It's probably like life telling you that yo, you know what you're being really mediocre right now Like you're not being true to yourself This gate eight is on this new moon in Taurus is trying to help us to Really pause on our impulses and introspect with this degree of cancer and say hey look if I don't jump and run all the way What has Mars? And cancer taught me what is Venus and cancer teaching me and how can I use this sextile energy to realize how to like water shift and realize that in order for me to be truly unique in the world and not mediocre and to do life in style in an exquisite manner and not compromise and to do so as well competently because gate 14 is a compromising uh, is the compromise gate 14 is a Scorpio gate and it is the programming partner and so it's like to do things competently means that you focus on you know what is emotionally spiritually and mentally enriching and nourishing that actually brings me material success so the irony is this this is a very material transit okay this is the kind of transit that will bring you six months from now you know the kind of money if you sincerely can be honest and be competent with working with small groups that support you right um this is the kind of energy like and even though you're within that small group it's like being the a drop in the ocean and the ocean all at the same time and you know this is this ring of water that is is connecting right now between what happened at the sun conjuncting uranus the sun and taurus when it conjuncted uranus okay this happened in gate two and this is finishing this story finishing this loop in gate eight because these two make something called the ring of water and it explains exactly what i said how can you be the drop of water in the ocean and be the ocean at the same time so it's like you want to really check in with well how were you um homogenized in school how were you indoctrinated in school where everybody was um encouraged to all do the same thing you all doing the same curriculum no matter how naturally and artistically talented you are you're all learning calculus or you're all learning geometry you're all learning english you're all learning literature you're all learning the same stuff so it's like your genius is dependent upon like can you replicate and imitate everyone else and this is the shadow of what program does and what we can break free from because it really makes us very mediocre as a people as an individual and overall as a collective truly is just like stop being mediocre this is the new moon that allows you to start to get out of that frequency and make money by doing something that you truly stand out but what's important about gate eight and this Taurus gate is this is Taurus is role model energy. It's like six line energy in human design. So it's like you don't actually want people to follow you. You don't want people to imitate you. If I'm an astrologer, for example, I don't want people to start trying to imitate genetic astrology. It's like I want to just be an inspiration for people to do something on their own lane. And this is what this gay eight is all about. When you really add your own style, your own flavor to things, you can attract others in your auric and magnetic field that want to be a part of your small group but also want to be in their own lane rather than want to imitate you and be a bunch of followers i am not the kind of teacher leader guru call it what you want that wants people to do what i do how i do it and you might have to take a very sincere look behind the scenes of and i had to do this myself of well when did i imitate other people and 
how can I see the truth now of, well, I imitated other people so that I can kind of find my own lane. I can find my own space. I can find my own step, which was naturally there from birth. But I went through my own programs and my own conditionings as everyone else. So it's the key like of what I said, like if you have to imitate others in the meanwhile, are you doing it as a means to an end? And if you are, then you know what? Take those steps. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that I did not watch other astrologers' videos in the beginning of my career. And then there's this other realization that those same astrologers I watched in the beginning of my career are the people that I'm not subscribed to. They're the people that I don't watch. I don't watch their stuff. And a lot of that is because it's like at a certain point, we have to go ahead and carve our own path and respect the process. So overall, this is what this new moon is about. There's a lot of private stuff happening, you're going to feel like you're going to want a lot of time to yourself in all sincerity so that you can grasp all of this um, and take it. You're going to have this uh, grand fixed cross energy that's happening right prior. Mercury has gone direct by the time I'm recording this video, but the shadow leaves and stays one 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 on screen until May 31st or so, depending on where you are in the world, 30 or 31st. And so let that shadow energy say, look, I'm going to get my motor going, but at my pace. Um, and, and, and also I'm going to recognize the conditionings of when I'm supposed to work. Anytime you say I'm supposed to or I have to, these are these obligations that Mercury sextiling Capricorn or not Capricorn, but Mercury sextiling Saturn is going to say, let go of these foundational, you know, thought patterns and over, um, you know, generalized statements that everybody says. It's the kind of stuff where when you ask somebody what they're doing, I know for myself, when I ask people, Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing today? Or how are you living? Oh, you know, same, same poop, different day. And as soon as I started hearing stuff like, oh, everybody is, oh, you know, same stuff, different day, same, same crap, different toilet. I was like, you're no longer somebody that I can associate with. This is the kind of new moon that relates to that exact generalized type statement because it's like everybody can't be in the same school. And we must recognize that it's time to create your own school of thought and your own school of artistic expression. If and when you do that, I promise you money will land in your bank. And I promise you that others will try to imitate you as well as scrutinize you for stepping outside the system and they will try to pin you down and make you feel as if what you are doing is, you know, a threat to society. And it's going to kind of come off so dramatic like that. Don't buy that funk, okay? And listen to your own music. This is what the natural talent of Taurus says. Attach to the positive image of your self-worth and hold on to that because once you start being truly exquisite and unique with your own style as an individual, others will come for your neck. And the thing is, if you are more concerned with your own frequency, you will barely notice them. And this is the kind of energy that in a sense makes you the role model where you're not watching the world anymore. You're only concerned with what you're doing yourself and you're not promoting others to follow you and imitate you you're only concerned with them being inspired by your natural light hit the thumbs up and the likes button i saw three to three on screen that's the divine number of love the divine number of creation all right uh this is your astro time pronoun bobby actually hit the thumbs up and the likes button we are generating an economy of harmony, leveraging human design and genetic astrology. If you have something going on with your throat coming up soon and as of late, know that it's time to act and speak on that thing that is sifting through the back of your mind. Secondly, you might be very constipated right now or you might be very runny. Listen to the signs. If you're constipated, what are you holding on to that life is letting asking you to let go? If you're if you're running and you're loose, what are you purging that life has asked you to let go from the eclipse in Scorpio? Because the small intestines is what processes the nutrients in our body as they flow through us. So at 28 degrees of the new moon, 28 degrees is the stomach, aka cancer. So what in your stomach is digesting or not digesting that is asking you to act? or speak up on authentically because the throat chakra is concerned or the vishuddha is concerned in 
with authenticity, authentic expression, something that you have as a skill that no one else has nor can they imitate. If you can find that special funk, I promise you, you will make boatloads of money even though and understand that money is changing as we know it because Pluto in Aquarius is squaring the nodes. So that is a very important element. Yet and still, I believe there is a beautiful sextile uh, or trine actually is happening with the moon. Let me find out with the moon in Pluto. Exactly. So this trine, though the node is squaring in Taurus, there's a trine happening um, with the moon as well. So, you know, we're going to go through deep emotional transformations that's going to say, hey, look, do some research on the back psyche of your mind and see this objectively and see this in a way where you are no longer owned by feelings and emotions of when others made you feel inferior for being unique, for stepping outside the lines, for drawing outside the box and for allowing those old emotional structures to decay and completely wither away to the point where they dissipate and now you can create from your own foundation that's not a form of indoctrination and in a sense in a sense slavery where you're no longer enslaved to yeah great you're successful but you're freaking miserable and other people can recognize that your success is built on a false ground that will fall through so now it's like we see you and it's like what praise and recognition is worth that I feel like this is major as the moon goes through that squaring with Saturn because on this day the moon will square Saturn and it's going to say let go of these old forms of money, let go of this old money, let go of this old testament of what it means to be successful, of what it means to be recognized because what it means to be recognized can only be described by you. Uh-huh. You, you recognize. You, you vibing with that. Hit the thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Astro Shaman, Pernell Bobby. We're meeting this Sunday with our members. And so we just had a new one join in. It brought me a lot of joy. You know, the, 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 the sample I have with that is today, I usually have stuff automated to send out to them as for their homework and their, their tests and their quizzes. And honestly, the way life went, I didn't, I got halfway through it today and I spent hours on it, but it was something brand new coming out. And it's like, I could have, I had the energy to go ahead and force the rest because I felt like I wanted to get it out. And I've been really like, I don't know, six months on schedule with that Sunday send out today. I didn't get it out. And it's like, I just sat, I paused, I meditated in between. And instead I was inspired to do this video where I'm likely gonna put this up tomorrow that I'm recording right now and get back into what I wanted to do today. But this video was the inspiration that was cooking and boiling in the pot. And so my point is, you know, as we let go of what we should do, what we have to do, we start rocking with our natural flow and follow our joys, follow our inspiration, and realize that just because the homework was due today, if the energy wasn't there, these constructs are being let and to be flown away. Okay, so this is a prime example. I hope I give some real life stories that actually can be applied. And if I did, tell me what supported you the most down in the chat and drop the bull or the tour sign if you made it to the end of this video in the chat at the end. Thank you very much for the support and working that algorithm as a people by dropping those bulls and dropping that Taurus symbol. I love you. I hope you make a super abundant and ridiculous amount of what you most desire. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you soon.